It's the Fear of God Essentials Spring Summer 2022 Light Oatmeal Hoodie Worth It. And this video, we're gonna figure that one out. Hey everybody, I'm Actors, and welcome back to the only channel on YouTube that covers in-depth videos of cars and streetwear. And today, we're kicking the back with another premium Essentials hoodie. It's been a while since I did one of these reviews, but you guys absolutely love the Essentials reviews, so I figured, why not do another one? So before we unbox this bad boy, be sure to like and share for that YouTube bedroom as well as subscribe. Any support would just be awesome. Now let's get into the review. Wait, 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 almost. <laughs> Wait, 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 one more thing. Uh, there's a poll right now going on for which car I should get this year for the channel. Links in the description below. Please vote on which car you guys would like to see me have for the car of the year for this channel. Alrighty, now let's go unbox this bad boy. So first off, uh, I don't know if this was StockX or the seller's problem or something like that, but this didn't come in one of those really nice plastic bags. Just came in one of these really crappy ones that I think they just kind of give to the people that don't have those kind of bags. So crappy, in fact, that I kind of actually ripped it open trying to open up the package for this hoodie. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Taking off the plastic bag, unfolding this hoodie, and whew, I almost forgot that such a hoodies are absolutely freaking massive. This is a size L and Holy shit, does it feel big. All right, some background information of this hoodie. So this is the spring summer light oatmeal hoodie. They just did another release for the fall winter. It literally came out uh, November, but this one came out back in June. Very popular, so I can see why they did two releases of this hoodie. So first off, this hoodie is completely covered in the light oatmeal color. And that comes with kind of a pattern, you know? So it's basically gray, black, white, all that stuff just kind of all mashed together. It's not really one solid color. Here's the front of the hoodie, what it kind of looks like. Let me just step back so I can show you this behemoth of a hoodie. But we have an Essentials logo right there up the front on the top right portion. Done in black Essentials, fear God. Also on the front of this hoodie, it features a little pouch right here so you can put your hands in if they're feeling cold, store your little items, all that fun stuff. And one thing I love about Essentials is the stitch. You can see this one really has it really nice seams all around this pouch to show you that it's made with quality. You can also see some really nice stitching seams for the arms. You can see how they're put on. They are really, really nice. And also on the hood itself, really nice seams all the way around. Even if you undo the hood, a seam going on the back to give it some structure. Talking a little bit more about the hood. It's while we're on the hood, we should talk about the tag that's on the top of the hood right there. Uh, once again, upside down this little plastic tab for essentials fear of god zooming in so you guys can see that a little better right there it's upside down no clue why maybe because when you put the hood down it's right side up but when you put it on yeah i don't know why it's upside down this hoodie also features some stretchy parts right at the ends of the arms there's some stretchy material right there so it kind of holds you in place and also more stretchy parts on the bottom once again to kind of hug you all right that's really all there is for the front now coming to the back of the hoodie is actually really cool there's a big freaking essentials logo right on the back going across done in black it says essentials fear of god on there something really cool about these logos is they're kind of like damped on with a really nice fabric material feels really soft and yet smooth at the same time well yeah just look at that just in case if you want to make sure that everybody knows you're wearing essentials fear of god they have a big logo for you. so rounding off on the hoodie on the inside made with this really nice really feels like it keep you warm we got some tags one right here is a kind of a tan one for essentials fear of god and then we have a stock x tag so you guys know that i try to get authentic hoodies for you guys at least try I mean, who knows how really authentic these StockX Essentials hoodies are now. Then we have another tag on the outside. And then we now, and then we have another little itty bitty tag for the sizing size L made in China. There's also another sizing tag on the bottom. This one not only tells you the size, but what the materials are made out of. This one is made of 80% cotton and 20% polyester. And it is really good cotton too. I mean, this feels really nice on the inside. And I believe it also tells you how to wash the hoodie, just in case you're wanting wash. So the proper way to wash these hoodies is hand wash cold with light colors, only non chlorine bleach when needed, flat dry, do not iron. So just in case you're wondering how you're supposed to wash these hoodies can't just simply throw them in the washer. Things will kind of get destroyed. And I've actually seen it happen before. You know, these things are 
pretty well quality, but the lettering here tends to peel off if you're not careful. It's something to consider when buying these hoodies for sure, because yeah, these things require a little bit of maintenance. And one last tag is on the outside of the hoodie, right here, kind of dangling, Essentials Fear of God, and flip it around, this hoodie comes from Essence, or Sense, whatever you guys like to call it, I call it Essence, it's probably called Sense. But yeah, we see the, but yeah, we see things like the item ID and the colorway light oatmeal right on. And also it says, and then also we have a men tag right there, but don't worry, I see women pull off this hoodie, no problem. Alrighty, so now let's go and put on this hoodie and see what it looks like on body. Putting on this hoodie, Bryce is so freaking big, and there we go. <laughs> yeah, so here's what the hoodie looks like on body. For sizing reference, I'm about 5'11", 165 pounds, and this hoodie is a size L. See that this hoodie is really big for me normally i would actually go with a medium hoodie but uh i decided to go with a large just so you guys could yeah these are big so if you want one to fit true to size i would definitely size down so if you are medium go with small i get a lot of comments about that and so i try to address that really quickly on the on body portion but do you have any comments let me know and i'll try my best to answer here's what the hoodie looks like it actually looks really damn good it does feel a little heavy this hoodie but i kind of like it because it gives me more of a cozy feeling and it does feel really soft definitely feels like it's going to keep me warm and matter of fact i feel like i'm already starting to sweat in this. and the styling is really nice man i mean this hoodie cold freaking hoodie the light oatmeal kind of pattern on this thing is really dope but yeah here's what the hoodie looks like on front and here's what it looks like with the hood on because i know you guys are probably curious about that yeah really dope i really like the hoods of this hoodie too take it off and now i'm gonna turn around so you guys can see what this hoodie like from behind sure everything looks really flat and nice them um, yeah i really like how this essential hoodies look too. i mean that logo is really really dope and here's what the hoodie looks like from behind with the hood up just in case if you really really dope so for styling of this hoodie i just went with a normal pair of black jeans i feel like that contrasts this light oatmeal really really well it's actually a really dope outfit i kind of like it so yeah i feel like black jeans go really nice with this shorts whatever you could try to pull off maybe a lighter cream pair of pants maybe a pair of like white joggers or something like that but i think uh the black jeans also shoe recommendations uh i would definitely go with maybe some foam runners or easy slides but i get now that yeezy is kind of dying really Really, really rapidly so i would say don't jordan's i don't know jordan ones you can try to pull with these but i noticed that like normal jordan's like jordan three fours that kind of stuff it kind of does really look because it's more like a really subtle so you gotta wear kind of subtle shoes that's just my experiences though go crazy and hey if you guys have any recommendations free to leave a comment but um yeah this concludes the unbody portion of this video Alrighty, so that was the unbody portion of this video now it's time to give my rating of this hoodie on a scale of one to ten and I'll give this hoodie, I'll honestly give it like a good 8 out of 10. It's a great hoodie. I think the black hoodies are slightly better than this one. Not by much though, but this one I really like a lot. So it gets an 8 out of 10. Now I like to run off by talking about the future of these hoodies. You know, where these hoodies are heading in terms of market and style. So I think essentials right now are still pretty booming. It's still currently one of the most popular things being sold on stock X and it doesn't look like it has any and it doesn't really look like it has really slowed down all that much. Maybe just a little bit, maybe Nike, some Nike uh, stuff is starting to come more into fashion, but right now a lot of people still really like essential. So I think if they don't do very many restocks or something like that, this hoodie is just going to go up in value, especially when we head towards, you know, the spring uh, weather where people are starting to take off layers and they kind of just want one single layer and this will probably be the thing, the thing that people choose. So yeah, currently these things are going for about the low $100 range. And I would say if this keeps up, this thing could probably head to maybe the high $100 range, maybe in the low 200. And uh, yeah, I think that's all that needs to be said for this hoodie. So the Essentials Fear of God Light Oatmeal Hoodie. What'd you guys think about it? Comment down below your opinion, like and share for that YouTube algorithm. And last, but certainly not least, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.